Chris, what was your initial reaction when you heard the judge's ruling? Well, we felt we proved our case, Joy. We, we did, and it, we won the election originally. There were less than 67 votes. We, we presented those numbers to the judge. And obviously, we're going to go home tonight. We're going to sleep on it, come back tomorrow. We'll, we'll talk and look and see if we need to appeal. And are you expecting to make that decision tomorrow as to where you go from here? Well, we have 10 days to do that. Uh, the council said sleep on it tonight. Chris, we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. And are, are you, were you surprised by the outcome? Well, absolutely. We, we felt we were in the right from the beginning the information given to us. Now, if this does go to a new election, well, obviously a new election has been ordered. I guess mm -hmm. now the question is when that will happen. Um, how do you plan to approach that? Same way we did the first one. It just run it just like we did the first election that we did. Just be honest, get, get out, meet our people, talk to them, and uh, tell them what we're about. And do you have a preference on when this new election will be held? Um, I'm going to leave that up to the council, but what's best, it looks like it could get very convoluted if you tried to do it at the general, and that's what the judge was talking about up there. And so I'm going to leave that up to the general uh, counsel to make that decision. And Chris, is there anything else you'd like to say to the voters uh, of District 28? Well, I've just, th this whole process for me has been new. It has been fantastic. All the people I met, the constituents that have come out, that, that have come to me and talked to me and, and told me their issues, and uh, just the fact that I can get back to serving people, which is something I've done most of my life as a school superintendent, Joy. So I'm looking forward to that.